Now, Top Governor. No? You honestly think a voice that coarse could come from a throat as fine as this? Who said that? Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was me, mate. Oi! Sigma, what is that? Oh, God, it's a robot skeleton! Oh, blimey, that hurt. I... And it's talk with an accent. Uh, can't help it, Flower. Didn't choose to talk like this. Not by half. What? Now, Alice, darling, do I rightly recollect you characterizing my speech as coarse? Well, oh, that's right, cruel it is. You really think I asked for this? See, they figured they give us all a, um, a what you call them, a personality. <laughs> Some tosser thought they'd give me this one. It ain't right, I tell you. He's a pirate. Cooper. If you're a barrel maker, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> right you are, me old. Well, go on. Have a butchers, mate. What do I look like to you? Robot, you say? Uh-huh. Well, nearly there, but they call us golems round here. Golem? Oh, I've heard of golems. They're sort of monsters, I guess, from Jewish folklore. They're made from clay, and they look like men. They're supposed to do whatever they're... Well, you are, of course, correct. The Golem of Myth is a clay creation that moves under its own power. Interesting. Our spellings are might different. The original blokes are spelled G. That's an acronym for General Purpose Autonomous Labor Electronic Machine. And the truth to tell, it's a bit rubbish when you write it out all like that. But I figured they wanted to make sure they had the Golem thing in there, you know? What with us being robots and all. Fancy. <laughs> Ah, uh, that don't... Oh, After Cooper. all, all of me mates here are golems too. Oh gosh, it's the robot apocalypse. I couldn't very well call all of you lot. What should we call... Well, we've all got a product ID. I figure that's as good a name as any... Are you Harold? And your ID is... GTM-CM-G-OLM. That's way too long. We... What? You've taken a mick and never had a problem yourself. Right then, let's just use the last bit, shall we? T-O-Golem. <laughs> Well, I can't say I ever noticed that before. Sure, it's a strange coincidence, isn't it? Yeah. Did he say his name was Cooper? What? A gentleman called. <laughs> oh, she ain't the only. I know who you are, sir. I'm right familiar. How? You don't know? Oh, they got cameras all over this place. Oh no, someone's broadcasting the killing game. Well, again, the lenses aren't much bigger than a screw, and they're all in the way, so I suppose. Now, as I was sent all of the data they were so I just gave the main core a ring, got those vi- Does that mean you're Zero Junior? Cool, blimey. Oh, you gotta be off your box if you think I'm Young Master Zero. A Young Master is a right proper AI what supervises all the electronic bits and bobs in this place. So you're working for Zero. My humble self, and knows what the misfortune to be like me, are more akin to computer term. Uh, I'd say me and me mates here are more like uh, arms and legs, right? Now, you lot don't have brains in your arms and legs, do you? Of course not. Right you are. You'd be all sorts of nasty if you... Well, we're like your arms or legs. The golem sea of fact of the matter is, it's not anywhere in the body, which makes a fellow wonder. In the mainframe? Spot on. So that part of me what thinks is in the mainframe. Is this one of those morphogenetic field things we talked about last Everything time? Everything this here body see, then the mainframe does some sort of computery jiggery pokery and comes up with some decisions and uh, those commands are sent over to what finally. Oh, that's why this thing's like a computer terminal. The body's just yeah, an yeah. output device of sorts. Got if it. we were talking about one of them personal computers here, you could say a... Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Then wouldn't that make you part of Zero Junior? Well, I suppose you could say that. What with us sharing the mainframe and all. <laughs> but I don't know shit all about this game he's running. That part of the mainframe's locked away from the rest of us. Okay. I'm an independent core. Uh, Zero and I are two. You recollect what Gollum stands for? I'm autonomous. <laughs> you sure, Governor? And now you, you're frowning and you're, you do these things on purpose. Well, when you cross your... Right then, let's cross them, shall we? Curl on down then. Oh, and eyebrows. I'd be much obliged if you... That's what you was thinking, no? 
<laughs> did I figure you did all of that. Huh. Ain't no man on earth who say, feeling a mite nervous, or just twitch me leg around a bit, you know? Uh, sometimes. Who's thinking real hard about something and says to themselves, oh, I think I'll just give the old loaf a scratch, that'll help. How's about when you reach for your tip and you turn a page in your book? Or what about when your eyes just go straight for the pear on that bird you fancy? <laughs> oh. Yeah, the list goes on, me chums. But all of those things are your subconscious at work. Interesting. Well, true, when part of your body does something, it's because your brain said so. But that don't mean your conscious mind is involved. <laughs> Fact is, it can't be. If your brain had... That's how us golems. You, um, you got it? Then you're saying that Zero Junior is. Right oh! Uh, I guess I shouldn't be talking about such. <laughs> and you said your back hurt earlier. Yes, I did. Me back is all right, Max. Last maintenance check. I've been on this bed. <sighs> the lubricant for me joints is. Every time I move, it hurts. But why did you wake up? Why do you think? Because you lot turned me on, is why. Especially that other missus over there. Right you are. Can you come with us then? The others need to see this. Huh. No, I, I can only go as far as I've got internal batteries. Uh, matter of fact, that's why I was here for maintenance in the first place. Your batteries place. are broken? Yeah, same goes for these other blokes too. Of course, they ain't connected to a power cable like I am. <laughs> huh? What question is that? <laughs> right, right. Not sure why you've got to bug up your arse about... <laughs> Curious, are you? Oh, that's a good word. A good, powerful word. Let's get you sorted. Just lend me your laws and peers for a tick. So, how can a robot get... And what does pain? Tell me, Guff. You... Chinese room? Who is this? Right, Nepal, appropriate response to the question. Hmm. Story relevant things? Oh boy. How am I supposed to respond to these? The questions keep coming more and more. Set of characters. How's it going? It's awful. Please get me out of here. Are you hungry? Yes, I haven't eaten since breakfast. Well, yes, I will my stomach liked it very much. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm dating a reggae dancer. Ah, that's pretty good. She doesn't have a dancer boyfriend. She's never kissed a boy. She's wearing white underwear. Um. Yes? Is there any particular reason this girl is, um... Pretty? Or, or why we need to know what color underwear she's wearing? That's a very important question, Luna. <laughs> Can't say there is. This tickles me fancy, I guess. But the prettier the bird is, the more fun. What? What? Right. Well, what I wanted to say was this. All them Chinese blokes outside the room didn't know nothing about them books what she had. So it follows that they would have thought whoever was inside spoke Chinese just like them, you see? After all, far as I can tell, they're having a nice little chin way with one of their countrymen. <laughs> you thick? I feel pain when me body's having a spot of bother. Okay. Well, hold up, mate. This ain't right. We keep this up and we're buggered. If things go really pear shaped, we'll be brown bread. So says the central computer to itself, seeing that things are a bit bollocksed. In the interest of extricating my body from its unpleasant predicament, the mainframe sends out a signal over the wireless, and my software interprets that signal as pain, and I stop doing whatever daft thing I was doing. It's the same, isn't it? Just like the Chinese room. So you're saying the robots feel pain differently than humans, right? Where am I in the flow? About to meet up with everyone else again. Great. Use your loaf, miss. You listen to a word I've said. A human feels pain when you do something you shouldn't. Like sit your bum down on a tack, right? Same thing for... If you feel like being clever about it, I don't forget all about that mainframe. So think about it enough. How do you know humans ain't the same just without all the electronic mm, buying, huh? This is going to be what a tough if, choice. What if some all you're doing is pulling out the right answer from some sort of phrase book in your brain? Ain't no way to prove that, of course. I mean, 
if you're actually a thinking creature, or if you're just some kind of language process. All what matters is if the per looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. You want to live a normal life? All right, let's just leave. Bye. Lay it on me. Ha! <laughs> ah, so carried away. I haven't seen anyone for yonks. Oh, just spit it. Right, right. Well, oh, uh, there was. What was it? Patience. Done. Now, I know I might look a bit out of sort. Same thing for the rest of the Yeah, blokes. what's up? Fact is, the reason we this special artificial when a golem's all new ABC. and shiny. If Makes us look right human. It even feels like real skin with pores, a little bit of hair. Are you saying a few there's pimples. a robot among Truth us? Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the f see. Right in them. Command violation. Rogue processes detected. What? Product ID G T M C M G O L M. Executing emergency. Oh, and the robot was about to tell us something important, so they turned it off. Unit G, no other rogue processes detected. Returning to. Well. It looks like. So somebody's a robot. That's. Wonder what he was trying to see right in the middle of. That's. That's lovely. An ambidex gate has been opened. Forty-five minutes. What? Someone on the other team must... We have to hurry! Which dirty scrub did this? Who was it? So there's one in the group somewhere. One of us is a robot. Guys, we're not going fast enough. We're never gonna make it in 45 minutes at this rate. Like how we always go through the lounge. You got a point! We can untake we can take off his mask now. You're right, maybe Kay's a robot. Why did you open the eight? I apologize. We only turned away for a moment. Dio opened it. <laughs> Dio, you scrub. Of course. Why? I don't remember us all promised. Probably both. We were able to get back ten Miyoji Quark and Clover. What were you planning to do if they didn't get back into? Nothing. Why would I have to do anything? Oh, he didn't read the rule. Didn't you hear the voice? That seems pretty straight. So what if they don't get- They'll all get set to ally in all three. Sounds like a sweet- Ten Miyoji's only got one. And that'll put Quark and Clover up close to nine. In other words, they- Didn't you guys find the note? What? What's this? Hair are not voted. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. What the hell, man? wasn't in our room. Dio, you scrub! Back me up here, guy. He's right. There was no such- Oh, well, damn. I'd never have opened the gate. Of course. I'm worried about the others. If time runs- They'll be peen- I know. Quark is part of that. Maybe something- This is bad. No, Clover! Alice is going back for Clover! Oh no! Alice? Clover? Where's Quark? Quark! Has Quark been here? Did something happen? He disappeared! Oh! I mean, he's gone! When was the last time? We were heading back. Ten Miyoji and I went into the lab. We turned around and started. When he didn't respond, we ran back the way we'd come. And you couldn't find him? Right. We thought maybe he just hadn't seen us go into the lounge. So we checked the crew quarter. But. All right. We need to split up. If we can't find him in any of the floor A. Okay. I need to go. You guys go on. Ahead. 
Alice, what did you find? Who's dead? Oh no. In the last game when we split up, we found someone dead. Quark? The heck? Somebody lose a leg? This guy lost an arm. It's probably part of the puzzle. He's not in the other two. There's no one here. Right. Okay. Let's leave. Let's go, Fi. It's all freaking Dio's fault that we have a time limit. Why do you have to do something stupid? I didn't think I'd have time. I hoped I'd have time. Where is he? Yeah? You want to see it? Fine. Follow me. What's on your red door? The door I wanted to go through with Clover. The pantry? The pantry. That drawer over there is stuffed with- Wasn't half bad, actually. You guys gotta yeah. have food? Here's some paella. Nasi goreng. Oh, and I ate the chef's pasta, too. You lucky dog! Can't help it. I'm a growing girl. You are? 20, I think. I think? <laughs> now that's funny. You must have done a lot of drugs to look like that at 22. What? Don't call me little. I'm an adult, you dried up asshole. And stop being so rude. Where's Quark? Yeah. The use by date is about a hundred years from There's a tank over there. It looks like they're pulling it out of some kind of well, since Dio isn't rolling around on the floor in agonizing pain, I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's okay. I guess you could say that. No, I was careful with Dio had some of it first. Oh, I almost forgot. I ate something else! Twice cooked pork! <gasps> That's extremely important to the plot of the game now. What is it? Reminded you of what? Well, the robot told us a story about twice cooked pork. I see. So the golem guy was turned off just when he was about to tell you something. Yeah, he was going to tell us that someone in the group. So the, the last robot. thing he said was, "See you right in the middle of." Right in the middle could be from Middle Kingdom, which is another name for China. Really? I don't think so. Well, maybe he was trying to say in other words. We gotta find Quark! Sigma! There you are! Something bad. Alice... Alice is... Just come with me! She's in the crew quarter! Did someone kill Alice? What happened to the mummy? The Egyptian priestess? Oh no. She's dead. Oh, I picked a bad ending. Oh, no. Where the hell is Quark? Me. 
Dio, you killed her. I was looking for Quark on floor B, so I came back here. Well, you know. Hey, once that looks, you better not be thinking I did it. I do think you did it. You're hiding knives inside your top hat. Well, suspicion often falls on the first to discover a crime. Hey, fuck that. She'd already been murdered when I got here. How do you know she was murdered? <sighs> what? Come on, it's up. She's got a knife sticking out of her chest. Does that look like an accident or a suicide to you? How do you know the weapon was a knife? What? All you can see from here is the handle. For all you know, it could have been an ice pick or some kind of tool. Well, well you, I mean, come on. Who would? And it's not fair to suspect someone just because they happen to be the first one to find the body. I suspect you because you've been acting fishy this whole time. If you want to be like that, then the last person to see Alice is the- Who was the last per- I need to go tell Alice. Clover. You guys go on ahead. Alice, why? This wasn't supposed to happen. What do you mean wasn't you supposed to happen? promised me we'd catch them together. Who are we catching? Don't do this. I can't trust them anymore. It could have been anyone. They killed you. I can't forgive them. I'm going to get rid I'll find out who killed you. Clover, don't ax anybody. Shut up! Don't you talk to me! I'm sorry, Alan. Wait! Clover, come! It's pointless. Even if you caught up to her. Think it through. Either Clover killed her, if the former is true, then I doubt she would confess. If the latter is true, then I imagine she'll be just as reticent. After all, Alice and Clover seem to know each other. In fact, they seem quite close. It seems safe to assume that Clover is currently very suspicious of all of us. I doubt she would open up to anyone right now. I don't want the second act's ending. You seem to you do it? Not again. Well, if you really want to, I'm beginning to feel rather accustomed. I would ask you to consider my motive for killing out. Al well, yeah, none of us have ever met Alice. You are correct, but only if the murder had a motive. Do you remember when we found the old woman? It seemed clear that her killer was Zero Senior. There is every reason to think the same per Perhaps this person pl Perhaps the entire nonary game is just window dressing. Window Perhaps dressing? Perhaps the only reason we are here is so that Zero Senior can kill- Why would anyone do such a- Presumably. Because they enjoy killing. Zero senior se No. There's no way Zero Junior wouldn't notice that. And if he did know, I really don't think he just let something like that slide. But isn't Zero Junior just maybe? But Zero Senior has a body. You think they'd really just let a tenth unwanted participant just run around murdering people? Not possible. At least not so long as we assume Zero Jr.'s statement to be the truth. Do you remember? He made it quite clear that the real Zero was one of us. Okay, can I take your mask off now? No, I, Clover's off my list of who did it. What about Quark? Minutes all play if no vote. Apparently, Zero doesn't feel like this a blunt but effective way. We should get to the where it seems clear he feels no compunction about killing us. As such, uh, ah. do I take her watch or no? Okay, whoever was on Quark's team, the other person just needs to go in there and hit. Hey, look! Everyone. Two of the AB gates. Probably ten Miyoji and Clover. Wasn't he a pair? Doesn't Quark need. As long as one person in each pair. Sharing their destiny. Pretty much. That's good news for you, Sigma. After all, you're a pair, but your partner is. Well. Yeah. <laughs> good luck for you, huh, Luna? What? I don't understand what you- Well, if Alice was still alive, you'd have a hard time choosing Betray. She only had one BP. If you'd picked Betray, you could have killed her. Of course, that's not really a problem. Stop that. I would have chosen ally regardless. I mean- Luna is such a nice friend. Sigma's going to be my opponent. I- I trust him. Yes! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> one of you guys picks Betray- Dio! Ignore him. You even got an ally. Of course. Right, Fi? I don't know about that. It's a difficult question. What? 
Well, if we choose ally and Kay chooses the opposite, then he'll have nine points. He can go through the number nine door whenever he wants. But it's not as simple as just choosing betray. If Kay decides to ally for some reason, then you'd end up with nine points. So we should both choose ally. Seems easy to me. You're planning on, but as soon as you go through that door, it will be only the two of you in that room. I've no doubt you could overpower five. Oh, give me a little credit. No one has more gentle points than me. You think someone of my stature would resort to violence? Yes. <laughs> the nerve. Um, what? This is just a thought, but then you wouldn't have to worry if you knew the other person was going to betray- That seems pretty- I'm sorry. Nothing to apologize. We appreciate your suggestion, but unfortunately, see, my goal is to beat this game. But fuck- Maybe that when I say I want to beat it, I mean, I want to get us all out of here. Well, it's a little too late for that, Fi. Considering one of us is already dead. We haven't beat the nonary game until we're all out of this place. I guess we won't all- Oh. Yeah. And Quark seems to be At any rate, completely missing all of us choosing dead. betray. We'd never escape. Hmm. K needs to choose allies the only way. How will you make- I have no guarantee- Would you do it if I could give you that guarantee? Would you do it for a Scooby snack? Well, yes. You promise? Yes. Good. Let's do this. Dio! Huh? There's someone behind you. What? Ha! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Got him. bitch! God damn it! Open this fucking door! <laughs> uh, fuck! Good old fight. That was beautiful. Invalid pair detect. Please reach members of a pair. What? Why the fuck? This is against the rules. You don't get to vote. <sighs> In your face, this Dio. Is bullshit. Dio will have nine points. But don't you think Vi might be worried that Kay will break his promise? After all. You needn't worry. Her plan is very clever. I will definitely choose ally. Two minutes. Hurry! We don't have much time left. Let's go. Okay. Um, so you... Of course. Oh, I... Oh, nothing. Anyway, you, you have to choose ally. Then please, please don't betray me here. Thirty seconds. I don't want to have to cry uh, over being traded. Must protect. I would have chosen ally regardless. I mean, Sigma's going to be my opponent, and I, I trust him. Uh. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Screw it. I'm outlying. Round two. Results. Thank you, Ambidex. Please don't betray me. Results, please stop. Man, traitoring my girl Clover. How could you, you scrub? Points, please check your bracelet. Seven blue pair. Thank you, Sigma. No problem, Luna. Pet, pet, pet. It was nothing. I also just did what I promised to do. Now we both have seven BP. This is the home stretch. It is. We can officially escape if we team up again. Because I'll choose ally? If we were partners, you could pick whatever you wanted then, couldn't you? I mean, 
you'd get nine points either way. You're right. Okay. Well, it's just there's a part of me that just can't feel genuinely happy. Yay! Oh, yes. Oh. That too. Quark, you scrub. Why did you do that? Why did you tell me all that stuff for? Were you just lying? No. Everything I told you was the truth. You have to trust me. I did! Look where it got me! How could you do that? Poor You're lover. such a jerk! How could I betray you after that? I'm sorry. Are you zero? What? No, of course Then how could you know all that? Where did you find out about that stuff? What stuff? I told you, I... Don't lie to me! I'm not lying. Forget it. It was stupid to trust you. I mean... There's no way- Clover, this isn't about me. I, I- I got someone involved on all this when I shouldn't have. I- You mean Quark? Yeah. You did this to get Quark's- Yes. But you've only got four points. I'm not important. The only thing that matters is that Quark gets out of this nightmare. You scrub! Hey, where do you think you're going? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to look for Quark. Hey, when- Oh. Wait, we didn't figure out who's partnered up with who now. I wasn't paying enough attention to notice. And what just happened? I thought Clover had said she didn't trust any of us anymore. Hmm. Yes, I did. If I put herself in a situation where choosing Betray would be unwise, if she had chosen Betray, I concluded that her desire to avoid that outcome would be stronger than her desire to protect herself with Betray. That was her guarantee. Yes. It's because you promised. Uh, 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 yes, that too. Let I me suppose. take your mask off. Yes. What was it? It's difficult to explain. Well, when we were investigating the pantry together, I felt that Phi was somehow similar to me. Are you both robots? Something in me. Don't betray her. You could call it. it. Cut it out. Gut feelings are bullshit. Phi. Besides. You don't get to have a connection with me unless I give you permission. You're acting like we're pals or something. Kind of skeeves me out, to be honest. <laughs> you chose Ally, too. Didn't you do that because you trusted him? Not exactly. I just made him trust me. When we were in the pantry, I stuffed my face. That got him to lower his guard. What? What are you getting at? Oh, come on. How am I supposed to feel a connection for a guy? Speaking of which, I get taken his face off. Um, if we could, uh, change... He must have been here for... Oh, he checked the results and then... Alright, I'll be back in a few minutes. I need to get some water.